Mm-hmm. Craig, is you ready, nigga? Shit, are we ready? Rena, is you ready, nigga? <laughs> Slightly. Oh, ready, nigga? Kev bringing the energy. That's what I'm talking about. You keeping all that same energy like Tiana Taylor. Let's yeah. not talk about her again. Stop, boo. Let's definitely not talk about her again. Is she back in the news for something? Because someone was talking about her for some reason. I don't know. I don't care. Yeah, I, I really don't know. And I don't know if I care. I'm not sure. I didn't. I don't have an opinion on that yet. But anyways, yeah, you're, yeah, I'm pretty sure you don't give a fuck. But hey, I'd like to welcome everyone back to the sixth episode of the Random Notes Podcast. Random music commentary with random parental horrors mixed with a lot of random banter. I am your host, Tones, back yet again with my two co-hosts, Kev and Queen Reen Bean. So... Tell me about y'all event for weekend, because, you know, I'm very intrigued and interested on hearing about everything that y'all were doing, because I'm a stalker, halfway. <laughs> yeah, you, you I'm go first. You go first. remember what I did this weekend. You don't remember what you did this weekend? It, nah, today, like, uh, nope, after that today. you had a good-ass weekend. Nah, I was that type of don't remember. It was like uneventful. Didn't do shit. Was in the house with my kids. I ain't do shit. <laughs> and when I went to work today, uh-huh. like you ever just be around so much dumb shit. Like, like even if I did have fun this weekend, I probably wouldn't have remembered nothing because I got to work and the shit that I witnessed was like, are you for real? What you with? Oh, uh, and you work at a school. Don't tell me some shit. All right. You could tell us, right? Like this won't like indict you or anything. Oh yeah, right? it's, it's it was nothing like no 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 scandals, no scandals. Just okay. dumb motherfuckers doing dumb shit. Like like the well, only that's regular school shit. The only paperwork mishap in which now everybody had to go back and do shit manually. Uh, what they had to go back and do shit manually because it was a paper mishap. So what does that have to do with you? Why's that yeah, important? Why should I care? Because what do you mean? You asked what we <laughs> Why's that? Why's that important? What's going on? Sorting fucking doing? papers because somebody fucked them up. Ah, man. All right. So if there wasn't a paper mishap, is there like automatic? You got like an automatic paper sorter? Like what's like what's going on? Nah, they should be printed in a certain order, and they weren't. So we had to put oh, them. Oh, so it wasn't collated. Is that the right word? No, the right word. The right word in this situation would have been alphabetized. Alphabetized. All right. So what is collated? Entire collated is um. That's a a word. That's a word, right? It is a word. It is. It's on the copy machine. Collated is they come out in order. Uncollated is so like if you have one, two, three, and you put them in collated, they come out. One two three, one two three, one two three. If you uh, do them uncollated, they come out one one one, two two two, three three three. You should uh, be in bed, lay down. Uh, say what's up, everyone. The Reen's daughter was going on making a special guest appearance on the pod. Man, she can listen back to this pod in twenty years and just listen to her how you know she's on the episode. Hey. Hey. Hey notes say random if you want to sit on my bed you have to fight. say random she trying to fight me you oh, she's going trying to fight you that's fisticuffs right there because you want to come in my bed say random oh, if she you, can't don't say that. you gotta go she can say it she a heifer <laughs> <laughs> So, Kev, what's going on? How was your week? What's happening? Or, or Yo, weekend? First off, G-U-N-I-T. Uh-huh. Fuck Ja Rule. Fuck Vivica Vaughn. No <laughs> high now. It's your time is over. I <laughs> so, why, wait, wait. Why, why fuck G-U-N-I-T and fuck Vivica A-F-I? I don't understand. What's going on? Did something happen with them in, like, 2019 or something? <laughs> I don't understand. I don't think anything happened with that. 2003 is a blast from the past. You heard? Dipset. That's what I'm trying. To, like, what's going on here? So what? Like, so what you do? What you do this week? End. 
I had a um sick child all weekend. Ah, damn! Daughter was sick, huh? Back so you was in the uh, so you was in the house wiping snotty noses and you know feeding her and wiping up after her and everything, huh? Yeah, pretty much. Ah oh, man, that shit's trash. So it seemed like y'all had a pretty trash weekend. Where did you have fun? Um, <laughs> I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think. What did I do this weekend? Did you take any flights? Can we just talk nah, about what's the week to come? Because it's almost my birthday. That's what's important. This is the week of preparation. Oh, nice. That's what's up. But let me tell y'all about what happened with me last weekend. We'll talk about your birthday in a second. Well, I still didn't tell y'all about what happened with my flight, how it was all fucked up when I went to Orlando. Free oh, yeah. 21. Free 21. Free 21. <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> yeah free 21 number one all right yeah definitely free that man he should come back to um usa that's a fact did they deport him yet he's in, he in a holding cell nah. somewhere is he in a cage with the rest of them in one of them um <laughs> gyms with mad um cots Yo, he's from England. They treat them way differently. I don't care if he's black or not. They treat him way differently since he's from England. I'm sure. But we'll talk about that in a little bit. I still got to tell y'all what's going on with, with my uh, with my flight and everything like that. So as the viewers know or the listeners know, two weeks ago I went to the Pro Bowl and everything, and the flight was all messed up. I'm going to tell you what happened. First off, when I get to the um, when I get to JFK, that's where I took my flight at, now, everyone was talking about how TSA was going to take so long and it's going to be the worst wait ever. Why? Right, when I got to TSA, it took me literally like five, ten minutes. It wasn't bad at all. But as soon as I step out of TSA, I look outside the window and it's mad cops and it's mad fire department like on the runway. And I'm like, oh, shit, this is some final destination shit that's about to happen. Nigga I don't want to get on this plane. Down. <laughs> Hell yeah. I'm like, yo, what what did I get myself into? And mind you, this is my first time on a plane. So I'm not sure if this is regulation, if this is normal or anything like that, right? So I get on the plane and, you know, because I still got to go there anyway. Because I ain't no bitch. So I get on the plane and, um, you know, it takes off and everything. And it was like, it was the worst experience, right? Because... The way I don't like roller coasters. That's number one. So when it takes off, that shit, it felt like it went straight up, right? <laughs> it, was, it was fucking hard. Like, it went from zero degrees to 90 degree right angles straight up, like on some Bugs Bunny shit. I'm like, yo, this is some Looney Tune. I cannot fuck with this shit, right? So, you know, I'm trying to sleep. I got the middle, I got the middle seat, right? Because if anyone who's ever been on a plane, there's the window seat, the middle seat, and the aisle seat. I got the middle seat. So I'm trying to rest my head somewhere. I'm, like my head, like I'm every two hours. I, it was probably like a, it was probably like a four hour flight, right? Something like that. Every two hours, I was waking up. It was fucking ridiculous, right? So we land. It was a huge bump. I'm thinking the play. I'm thinking the plane crash. And I'm like, yo, this is crazy. Who am I going to call? Like, what the fuck's about to happen to me? I'm in the Orlando. That's what I'm saying. Oh, who I'm going? Yeah, I got you. Got that one. That was a good one, Kev. But um. <laughs> So let me tell you, I get off the plane and I'm looking for my, what's it called? I'm looking for my rental car because I ordered a rental car, right? It's not it's not at the airport. Don't know why. They tell me, I get to Hertz and they're like, yo, you got to get off. You got to go to the shuttle bus and do this and do that just to get, you know, just to get to your destination, which is the rental car place. Damn, I called the, right? I called Yo, you are on today. <laughs> <laughs> I just thought, yo, that was good. That was a good one, actually. <laughs> so <laughs> I called a rental car place, right? It must have been 20 minutes already. I'm trying to wait for the um I'm trying to wait for the shuttle. No, no, what happened is the shuttle came. He's like, no more, no more rental cars for this place. We're gonna take you to another place. And I call so I called him. I'm like, what the fuck you mean there's no more rental cars? I got a reservation. And they're like Oh, rent of reservations, blah blah blah. That only works. Bring the car back. We have no car for you. Fuck off. Basically, is what they said. What? Right. So I'm. So basically, I'm damn. Did you stay in. reserved and keep your composure? Yo, yo. What did I'm you drink today? I'm here on night, baby. <laughs> yo, this guy. Yo, he's a regular Dave Chappelle tonight. That shit was crazy. Yeah. <laughs> so, all right. I'm there for like 20 minutes. I'm call I called a different car place, right? Um, 
I reserved another car. Then I'm waiting for the shuttle bus to come there. I waited another 30 minutes. The shuttle never came. I ordered another shuttle. I mean, I ordered another. I reserved another car, right? I finally got taken to the reservation place. Now my car doesn't work. My, so it, it must have been, I must have been just around in the area. I still didn't even reach my hotel. I must have been there for two, three hours. My car doesn't work. I call Chase. They're like, oh, it's fraud protection. We didn't know you're not in the area. So we got to turn your car card on for this and that. And So that shit is crazy. Because it was like, when I got down there, they told me that it was like a $300 deposit just to sit in the car. Right, just to sit in my rental car. It's, that's not like that up here. It's usually like a hundred something, right? So I'm like, this is bullshit. I'm gonna just Uber it to the place, right? Yeah, Boom. state is different. That shit is ridiculous. Fees. I didn't know about that, but that shit is crazy. So I Uber to the place, right, to the uh, resort that I was staying at, right. So I call my friend, and they're like, "All right, I'm over here. Where are you?" And I'm like. Um, I'm at the place you're told you told me to be at. I'm right in front of the building. So I noticed that they sent me a different resort after they sent me the resort that I'm at. So basically I'm at the wrong resort. <laughs> right? So this is already like three hours. I'm not in the hotel room. I had I already took a I already ordered like three reservations. I already reserved three cars. I'm already at a different resort. Like driving none. <laughs> yeah, right. This is the most crazy shit ever, right? So now I have to get another Uber to the correct resort. Long story short, all in all, it's about like three and a half, four hours just to get from the airport to the resort because of some crazy bullshit. And the Pro Bowl was trash because it rained all day. <laughs> <laughs> that shit was gone. Tell me how... It rained all day. All right, I got there on Thursday, sunny Thursday, sunny. It was sunny Thursday, sunny Friday, sunny Saturday. Rained all day Sunday. The Pro Bowl. It was like it was like a monsoon rain. My my socks got wet, fam. It was a wrap. Right, I had to leave, and then and then we left. We left on Monday. It was sunny all Monday. I'm like fuck Orlando. This place is crazy. <laughs> That shit was garbage, fam. Oh, man. But I'm not even going to tell y'all about this weekend because I took too long talking about this shit. But apparently, what happened? No, I'm just laughing because that happened to you because you teased us because you was going to Orlando. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this, was, this was God coming back at me, huh? Karma is a like, yeah. Karma. Oh, God, Jesus. was like, ah, y'all niggas cold. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, fuck Karma. That bitch is trash. Karma trash ass bitch, man. I fuck that bitch up. <laughs> <laughs> but um, back, back, on, back on note, right? Rain, there's like a notable black person for this <laughs> month, right? Be for this week, actually, this, as our viewers know, that it is uh, Black History Month. And every week, we coming at you hot with a new, pause, with a new notable <laughs> black person that you people probably never heard of, you know? See, what other podcasts do you get, Ratchet Shit, with some knowledge? Ratchet Education, that's what I'm talking about. So what, what, what you got for us, Rain? All right, so... um. I'm not sure if I'm saying this right. Kev, you know Probably if not. I'm saying it right. Aminarinus? Am Aminarinus? How you say it? Is that how you say it, Kev? He knew who she was. You asked Oh, this is Future's person. real name? <laughs> this is Future, right? I know Future. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> this is not. Oh, this ain't Future's real name? Oh, all right. No, nowhere near. Nah, it is near. Kev, what's Future's real name? No, uh, I'm talking about this person is nowhere near Future. Oh, all right. So no, go ahead. All right. So this person, Emma, this woman, she's a woman. Her okay. name is Emma Noranis. I, I can't say oh, it. Oh, snap. So she was born in like 60, around 60 or 50 BC. She was, uh, yeah, we're, we're going back because people got to 
we're African history. Oh, I love this. Black history month, okay? This is okay. some history for you, all right? And this is important shit that they're never going to teach you in school. Well, they can hear it here, so, you know, exactly. tell your friends. Exactly. <laughs> tell all your friends. Tell your teachers. Ooh, yeah. Oh, my God. Tell your teachers, especially if you have <laughs> friend teachers. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. No, no, but go ahead. Go ahead. I want to hear this. I'm interested. You got me on the edge of my seat. All right. So this woman was a Kushite queen. No, they call them, um, uh, if I'm saying this word right, Kandaki. Kandaki. Mm -hmm. So she was a Kushite. That, uh, that is a ruling queen. So there's queens and then there's ruling queens. She was a ruling queen. So she led um, the Kushite army in wars against the Roman army. So as we all know, the what? Roman, it wasn't just a country. They were an empire. So to be an empire, that means you got to go around snatching other people's shit, claim yeah. it at wars, and then after that, they pay you tribune. If you don't know what tribune is, people, those are taxes. Mm, mm. So, so, so they're pretty much People had to pay the Romans taxes to live in their own country. Yo, that's boss. <laughs> that's boss as hell. So you telling me this woman is a strong black queen, literal strong black queen who don't need no man? Yeah, but she had one. Was uh, that man her king? Uh, nah, nah, nah. There's no mention of a king. There uh, were, there's like... A side nigga? Nah, there's rumors that she had like, you know, the... um the house the cop like concubines but she was a woman so instead of bitches there was niggas for her saying she's out here doing shit she deserved choices yo, hard women she, deserve options yo she's the yo she's the first Lori Harvey yeah let me Not find sure. out yo Lori Harvey she worked way yeah, harder than Lori yo. Harvey but <laughs> anyway so let me finish so look, so while like the Roman Empire was running around, snatching up shit, claiming Egypt, you know, anyone, if you do your homework, Kush and Egypt, they are, they are neighbors. So he's sitting here watching these white folks come snatching up everything from her black next door neighbors. And she's like, wait, if you've taken over them, that means we are yes. next. And right. I'm not about that shit. So before they <laughs> had the chance to come to her, they started attacking them. And they had like, um, I believe That's it was dope. five years of war between them. Mm -hmm. And um, she ended up winning. Oh, get they, the fuck out of here. Nah, yeah, yeah, she nah, won. You, 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 nah, you making this shit up. Where's this at? I want to read this story. This shit is dope as hell. How come they ain't make no movie for this? Because they can't, they don't want, they can't be having black people knowing shit like this was going down. Damn, this shit is dope as hell. They not making the movie. You gotta I'm get make a, my black own movie. Director. a black director will make this movie. Ryan Coogler. Let's go. That's so then, go after that, so pretty much like, you know, once the Romans was like, okay, we can't take this no more. They uh, decided like, we're gonna, you know, come up with a peace treaty. But you know how that usually goes. Someone gets shitted on and it's usually the brown person. Well, not in this case. In this case, the white man was shitted on. Oh, and tell me about this. So, they got from the peace treaty, they got most of their land back, which was about 30 miles. The Romans were left a 12-mile strip of land. The Romans had to evacuate and dun dun dun, dun they did not pay tribute to the Romans. I repeat, in the name of Wesley Snipes, they did not pay tribute <laughs> to the Romans. Alright, but in the name of DMX <laughs> and all the other niggas out here with funny tax shit. Well, all right, bro. But hold on. Is that really a window? They still had to give up some land. Some, but can we be in all reality? Most people would have never got a deal that good. And the land that they got was 
a strip of land that was um, the border. So they got 12 miles of border. Yeah, that, that, that's a small victory. At least they ain't like coming in and pillage their whole shit. They could have done yeah. much worse. And remember, I... that's what the Romans got. Not what they got. That's what yeah. they let the Romans. So, you know. And then um, just some little fun facts. As a sign of disrespect, they um, the army decapitated a bronze statue statue of Augustus who happened to be the emperor of Rome at uh -huh. the time and they took it back and buried it under the feet uh, at one of um one of the like temples you know they have like the statues of the rulers yeah. so they buried it under her feet and that was in around 21 or 20 BC his mm. head stayed under her feet until 1914 mm. that's crazy it was the head of Augustus. The head of Augustus? Yeah, one of the statues. One of the statues. That shit is dope as hell. Yo, Reen, say that name two more times so our viewers can go and read up on this person because she sounds like a dope ass black queen. We got we like yeah, we definitely gotta do this. It. We're gonna spell it. A M A N I R E N A. Ooh, she got arena in her name. I didn't know that. <laughs> All right, I'm going to spell it one more time. Hold on, a spell it so I can write it down. Okay, A-M-A-N-I-R-E-N-A-S. Amarina. 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 Yeah, Amarina. Amarina. Oh, and fact, if your name is Candace, <clears throat> that is derived from the word Kandaki. So, Candace, welcome, my fellow queens. And, and another fun fact, it is rumored that she fed her enemies to lions. Like alive? Yeah, like they, there's the lions. I yeah, kick them in the pit. <laughs> Hi -ya. Hi -ya. Kick him in the pit. <laughs> Yo, that's dope as hell. Thank you very much for that history lesson on uh oh, you know yeah, strong black eye. people. She what lost one in battle. She only had one eye. She lost one in a battle. Ooh, and she's battle scarred. That's what I'm talking about. That's sexy as hell. She's probably beautiful, too. That's what I'm talking about. Everyone, go look up that person. Her name is Amin Arenas. That's A-M-A-N-I-R-E-N-A-S. Go look her up and, you know, write a report and don't send it to us. But, um, yeah. <laughs> so right now, apparently 21 Savage wasn't able to go <laughs> to the Grammys because he is currently detained by ICE for deportation. Apparently, he is not from... No one could tell. No one knew this. He's not from America. He's from the Great Britain. All right. And they're trying to get his ass back the fuck over there. So how do we feel about this? What's going on? If the girl ain't up to date, then the poor die. <laughs> yeah, basically. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just nah. kidding. Cash, you can't do that. We are not doing that. I didn't mean that. We are not doing that. <laughs> yeah, but Kev, you wasn't feeling her uh, Jamaican accent? No. Not at all? No. She doesn't no. have a future in reggae? Don't ever disrespect Sean Paul like that. <laughs> the god Sean Paul. The only light-skinned Jamaican I've ever seen in my life. Is he Puerto Rican? I heard he was Puerto Rican. And he was faking. <laughs> yo, yo, y'all remember that rumor back in middle school where Sean Paul was really like Puerto Rican, <laughs> but like he's putting on this front. Son was Jim. He's a coolie. I don't know what that means. Isn't coolies like cigarettes? No, cools are cigarettes. Coolies oh. are um a type of Jamaican, like a, a light skinned. Like from um, usually they got like Asian background. I was just about to say that. Like y'all ever seen Asians like with clear cut Jamaican accents? That shit is trippy. Mm -hmm. Y'all seen that? Mm -hmm. I seen mm -hmm. that shit on. I seen that shit on YouTube. I was obsessed with that for like 
two weeks, like out of junior year high school. Shit was crazy. <laughs> there were like three sisters in school we went to, that went to school with us that were Chinese Jamaicans. No, there wasn't. Stop telling tall tales. <laughs> Kevin, you remember them? Hell no. Oh See? my god. <laughs> Yo, that's what we call her dead and her lie. Like, the no. fuck is she talking we about? we get off because I'm not going to, we can't say people's <laughs> great first and last names on this shit. When right. it's just us three, we're going to hit up somebody and uh-huh. she's going to tell y'all. I don't, I'm going to keep it on it. I don't remember the bitch's name. I know <laughs> she does, though. <laughs> and right, her two she was fired though. Um, one of the sisters you'd probably say was fire. None of them was ugly, though. She, she like, like she got the clapper. She got the fat butt. That's the one I'm talking about. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let, yeah, link me to that. Behind the scenes, though. <laughs> but <laughs> anyway, so this is the fir- one of the first instances that is publicized about <laughs> uh, about immigration from uh well, ice detaining someone who's not from south of the border so um what's going on with this are they like branching out or is it only black people now only only european black people um i've been getting people i know i know caribbean people that be getting sent back the only thing is that um our south of the border friends are who's popular right now mm, i've been fucking with people so we don't think that they put Twenty One Savage in one of those savage tents, like <laughs> with the barbed wire and shit. I don't know where they got him. Now he's rich, so you know things are always different for people with money. But I don't know. He just might be, you know, on one of three hundred cots. <laughs> yeah, that's like like the fire festival. Yo, did y'all see that doc? That fire festival doc? That shit was crazy. Mm-hmm. So that, yeah. Nah, yo, nah. you need to watch that Fire Festival doc on. You should watch both. There's one on Netflix and Hulu, but the one on Netflix I think is better. That shit, yo, that shit was crazy. They got. Nah, I ain't, I ain't gonna ruin it. I ain't gonna ruin it. But um, I heard that Takashi Six Nine snitched on Twenty One Savage, saying that he's not from here. Y'all heard that? I did hear that too. But I didn't like really know where that came from. Damn, that's so not true. It as a rumor, <laughs> I know, Kev. It Go just on, like man. it's it's a meme. That shit is not true. Man, listen. Also, also, I got like not really inside information, but one of my exes is well was a CO, right? And basically, what she's saying is uh, sixty six nine did not snitch and she gave me a whole bunch of reasons why he didn't snitch and how do y'all feel about like him the possibility of him not snitching because i think like in the court of public opinion everyone already said that he snitched so do y'all feel like he snitched or i don't care if he does or doesn't snitch because whether he does or doesn't snitch my paycheck stays the same that's a fact unless that nigga giving out money well, <laughs> I mean, he might. He is giving out. Like, like, like him going nothing to Mexico? about him. Like, I don't care about anything about him. Mm, but, like, the whole, like, hip-hop was funner when he was out. Yeah. You know, that's just boring. Uh, and like, You know why? Though? I don't think I paid attention to enough stuff to miss him. And he only had one song that I know I liked. Oh, he so, had a lot of bangers. Like, you know what I'm saying? I feel you. Yeah, yeah, but I need to put you on that dummy boy. He definitely has some he definitely has some bangers. But um I feel like what's his face? Soldier Boy been trying to take his spot, but he's like, I don't know. He's not really as out there, out there as he well, what as, uh, Soldier Josh. Boy even do? I, I'm still waiting for a song because Kev swears Soldier Boy was the comeback, right? <laughs> yeah, he did say that. <laughs> that this was his comeback, yeah. I'm yeah. waiting, and Kev. You, you know why? Right. Do, do y'all know why it's a comeback? Why is it a comeback? What's today? February 11, 2019? That's right. That's right. We're still talking about Soldier Boy. <laughs> 
Get the fuck out of here. So <laughs> what? <laughs> So it's it's saying that it's this is Donald Trump's year because we're still talking about his dumb ass. Uh, nah. This might nah. be his last year. This, this might be his last year as president, though. Listen. Or, uh, my, my bad, 2020 is his last year because what's it called? The elections are in 2020. We'll see who the Democrats nominate, but I don't even want to talk about that. Fuck bullshit. Donald Trump. Well, yeah, it's always fuck Donald Trump, but you, you know how that shit go. Um... So we want to talk about that Chris Brown and Offset beef that is happening. Well, we, How did this we, even start? We kind of fill me in because I have no idea. I, I kind of want to want to touch back on the the uh, Twenty One Savage thing. Oh yeah, yeah. Go ahead, go ahead, bro. Um, it's kind of unfortunate the position he's in because it's not like he's like a fucking menace to society or something. And your man got three kids. He's being taken away from his kids. It's just wait, wait, wait. He got three kids? Yeah. What the fuck? I only thought he had one. Damn, okay. y'all niggas do not research. Nah, not at all. Not at all. <laughs> Listen, it's not that type of podcast. I only care how many kids you have if you trying to take me on a date. <laughs> so three kids, like they can't take you on a date with three kids, Rain? If you got three kids and you could take me on a date, I need to know what the fuck you doing because <laughs> most likely it ain't taking care of them three kids. <laughs> that Yo, you be, that, I mean, that ain't true, but your mom worked different, Ray. <laughs> That's a fact. But, but, no, but basically, basically, basically how the whole uh, Chris Brown versus Offset shit happened, Chris Brown posted, you know, one of the many fucking memes or videos, whatever you call them shits. Uh, about the Twenty One Savage situation, um, he posted a video of um, of Twenty One Savage's um, uh, fucking freestyle, mm. but it was in like a oh, I saw British that accent. So uh, it, was, it was the man's not hot shit. Offset, Offset didn't didn't like that. That shit was dumb funny. <laughs> so he he pretty much said it's lame, and Chris Brown. <laughs> Oh, nigga. Oh, nigga offset. <laughs> offset under pressure. He had offset under pressure. Nigga gave him the ad. He asked him for the address. Chris Brown gave him the address. He said, nah, you police. I ain't coming. <laughs> nah, I ain't coming to your address. <laughs> Yo, that yeah. shit is crazy. Cop mad, had please. This nigga, had this nigga panicking. That shit was crazy. <laughs> How you, ask, Yo. how you ask somebody for their address and they give it to you? He like, you four, I'm coming. Now nah, you post police. I ain't fucking police. When I see you, it's lit. That's crazy, because you know when they see each other, it's not going to be lit. Like, when they see each other, it's going to be at some sort of event. It's going to be they, mad security. What Chris Brown I'm just Grammy? saying, with his baby mama sheen, the person she sheen, she didn't give a fuck it was at the gala. It was lit. I don't think Offset about that life like that, though. As, if, if Migos not around, he's not going to pop like that, I don't think. Oh, you think he's cur? Yes. You cannot ask a man for his address for the smoke, and then when he presents that address, you <laughs> air the room out like for the smoke. You don't want any smoke. He had all the fire extinguishers. Like, it's a wrap. <laughs> Chris Brown is fucking petty, and I fucks with that kind of petty. Like, the nigga all... I was just saying, I know that's the type of... The nigga, the nigga uh, Offset said, Chris Brown don't want no smoke. So, uh... Chris Brown turned into the hookah man. <laughs> 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 Mr. Chimney. Like, mad consistent with it. Like, oh, you still a bitch. Like, like. Yeah, like, <laughs> like, you have to call that man a bitch now after that shit. Because you can't ask a man for no, like, for the, you can't ask a man for the fair one. And then once he offers you the fair one, you're like, nah, I don't want the fair. I don't understand that. Like, you that, know, th that's different. It's, it's, you know why? You know why? Because, see, he probably thought, and you know how people think about us. They think all us light-skinned people soft. So he probably thought he was going to thug the shit out oh, of him. Soft. Well, we know that, but what I'm saying <laughs> is, 
He probably was like, I'm a punk the shit out of this little light skinned nigga. I'm a front. And then when he didn't fall back, he was like, oh, wait, my plan didn't work the way I thought it was going to work. Offset don't want no smoke. This nigga nah, Chris Brown, don't. like 6'5". This nigga be doing karate, backflips. This nigga, like, 30 years old, doing backflips and karate. Like, <laughs> Yeah, it's crazy. I'm not fuck. I'm not fighting no acrobat. Like, you're, <laughs> like <laughs> it's a fucking rap. If you could, if you could do a front flip and kick me in my face, which Chris Brown could probably do, I'm not. I don't want no type of smoke with you. Number one, because your breath control is way better than mine. I'm gonna be winded after a couple of swings. You feel me? This nigga Chris Brown does a whole three hour show and still has time to do coke. So it's like it's a it's a rap, uh, allegedly allegedly. <laughs> So I'm not gonna fight that nigga. Like, what the hell was Offset thinking? <laughs> that shit's crazy. Plus, Offset can't be more than 125 pounds, wet, you know, soaking wet with boots on, and a, and a North Face. So <laughs> Chris Brown will roof this nigga. It's a wrap. I guarantee you, Chris Brown will beat the shit out of all three Migos at the same time. That shit look like Streets of Rage out there. <laughs> Yo, it's a wrap. Chris I'm Brown would look like fucking friend. Zan Geef out there. Son. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even up front. I I agree with you. You see, like I, I don't know why they do that shit. I agree. But you know, some bitch ass shit. He probably gonna run up on his house, all three of them with security guards. Since since you know his house is probably known, every celebrity really knows every cele- where every other celebrity lives. Plus, they were like. They they had the helicopters over his house that one time, and they said Chris Brown um kidnapped some bitch or whatever. So, <laughs> you you know like his address is very known. You could Google that shit. I'm sure he lives in Calabasas. Everyone lives in Calabasas. Nigga, this, this, this nigga put the screenshot <laughs> out of him sending his address to Offset. <laughs> he put that out. He don't care if niggas know where they live, where he live. I said he put put the screenshot out of him. Giving his address to Offset. Like, yo, pull up at four. I'll be there at four. Please come. <laughs> he said, he said, please come? Nah, Man. I'm not I'm not coming. Don't tell me, <laughs> don't tell me please come. <laughs> he, he said I he said I pray you come. <laughs> Did he come. say that? <laughs> yo, that's what you say to your girl when you're done. Like <laughs> when you don't want to pipe no more, please come. I'm <laughs> not pretty nah. It's it's a rap for that shit. I never nope. said that before. You never said that. You've never nah. Get the. You've never said that before. Fuck out of here. You've never been done, and you don't want to do anything anymore. And you're like, please, please come, my brother. <laughs> Where there's a will, there's a way. There's a way. Where there's a will, there's a way. What happened? I hear you. I said, where there's a will, there's, there's a way. There's a will, there's a way. You a funny nigga, Zay. <laughs> you a funny nigga. Sorry, right, so the conclusion of this 21 set. Well, wow, what the fuck am I even talking about? <laughs> <laughs> the conclusion of this Chris Brown and Offset shit. How does, like, apparently Cardi got dragged into it, too, right? Because, of course, when you <laughs> talk about a man, you got to talk about his girl, too, nowadays. That's some crazy shit. Like, does anyone have any information about that? What was said? Like, what's going on? What happened? Or she, like, input herself into that? Because she's a thug bronze. Nah. Uh, <laughs> he said something about what he said. He was going to send her flowers or some shit. Yeah, the, the super pyro Briss Brown. <laughs> uh-huh, Briss. The I like that. From, from Bompton. Briss uh-huh. Bracey. <laughs> oh my god, everyone's from Bompton. Not me though. I'm from Yonkers. Go ahead. <laughs> 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 that would go ahead. Yo, Sunset Sunset he gonna send Cardi B flowers. <laughs> so I don't see what's wrong with that. that. He respects him. What's wrong with the what's wrong with the man sending another man's wife flowers? Because what you sending my girl flowers for? <laughs> you see, all, you see, Offset is mad insecure. I'm like, Thanks. Oh Thanks. Yeah, nigga, get the hell out of here. Sending my wife flowers for nigga. Nah, fuck that. That means I don't gotta send her flowers now. Thanks, fam. <laughs> Thanks, bruv. You better not accept them. 
<laughs> oh, that's yo, that's the play right there. That's the play. You get you see if another man sends your girl flowers, right? And if she accepts them, nah, that means she ain't I shit. I seen that meme. I seen that meme. It says send her flowers. Uh, oh, signed by a secret admirer. And if, if she don't bring them home, she cheating. That's the play. Yeah, yeah. If she don't bring them <laughs> home, she's cheating. Yo. Oh, you oh you ain't getting no flowers. <laughs> You're like, bitch, I know you got flowers. I sent them to you. It's over. Get your shit out my crib. <laughs> Just shit the fuck out my crib and bring my flowers back. Gotta send them to my side girl. What up? <laughs> but, uh, so, all right, did she respond to any of that? Like, did Cardi, did, did Body B, did, like, did she say anything about that or? Um, nah, I don't think. From, from what I see, she she hasn't said anything about it. Okay, you know, she got right. the, the Grammys and stuff to worry about. Yeah, that's true. That's but, true. Uh, Yo, Kev, as a man, as a man, right? If your girl got a Grammy before you, how would you feel? If my girl got a Grammy before me? Yeah. If if, if you were a rapper and your girl is a rapper that like just came out and she got a Grammy before you and you have like four albums out, how would you feel? I would feel happy because a Grammy don't mean that just because you don't have a Grammy. You, don't... you a lying ass nigga. You ain't going to feel happy for her. Why not, nigga? Fuck that shit. I'm going to break that this, shit. You petty. I'm going to break that shit. I'm going to be like, oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I was dusting. <laughs> <laughs> J. Cole, Cole don't submit his music for the Grammys. What'd you say? You said J. Cole, Cole is. You have to submit your music for the Grammys. J. Cole don't do that. He ain't gonna win that boring ass nigga. Yeah. That shit. That shit is audio ambient. Like, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Wait, wait, hold on. J, I forgot. J. Cole got a hive. My bad. J. Cole's the shit. Yo, yo, we gonna edit this part out. Like we gonna get mad slander for this. Something. Oh, he got a hive so, too. Nigga, you, you gonna Jay get Cole mad got the Biggest hive. I didn't say that. That was Kev. <laughs> that was obviously Kev. I didn't say. His Jay. hive is bigger than the beehive. It's on, like it's pff, shit. Almost. His hive is crazy, yo. They be going to any event that he's at all the time. They be traveling for the, like God damn. Y'all niggas want to sleep that bad? Crazy. But um, mm. hold on. Where we at now? So, so that's that's the end of that one. Nice. Se- All right. This is the segue into the next topic. I don't. I don't have a fucking segue for this goddamn topic. Fuck it. But, Damn. Uh, when you <laughs> you supposed to just segue. You ain't supposed to announce it. This is a segue for the next topic. Nah. Fuck <laughs> that shit. <laughs> we 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 raw as fuck over here, son. <laughs> this is a segue to the next topic. <laughs> <laughs> so school suspending children how like what <laughs> all right <laughs> how do we feel about this is this good wait number one why are schools suspending children what does this mean no i'm asking because it's like yo they're just always suspend like i just feel uh-huh. like are there what else could we do besides suspend them i don't know my son ain't never been suspended so Damn, I didn't get suspended in grade and I got suspended over a fucking fitted hat. Shout out to Rocco Grassi. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that <laughs> shit. Super Mario. Super Mario looking motherfucker. Yo, how you get suspended for a fitted hat? What happened? You wanna take your shit off? Yo, fam. I, first of all, I'm walking out the door. All right, cause in, in, in Yo, I remember year, this. I remember this. I only, I only had like 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 three classes. So I'm done for the day. I'm walking out the building, and as I'm walking out, I put my hat yeah. on, and he's he stopped me like, "Give me your hat, no hat." <laughs> and I was like, "What?" I was like, "Son, I'm leaving." Uh huh. My day is done. I'm out. So I'm walking out. I hit him on security guard to stop me. Security guard didn't stop me. And I'm like, "Yo, I'm I'm done for the day." Like, so um, that was that was like a Friday before. Like a little vacation. Yeah, I remember that. I came, I came back from the vacation, right? I had my hat on in the building. So, like, he pointed me out. So, I take my hat 
felt ready to give it to me. Like, right, you got me. This nigga <laughs> say you me. You got me. Remember what happened? The other, you remember what happened the other day? I'm like, what you mean the other day? We just came back from vacation. <laughs> he was like, you're, you're suspended. Yo, I cursed this nigga out from fucking whatever floor we was on. <laughs> Yo, Cat, you've been a thug. Man, about being a thug. That shit. Spend me for three days for a fitted hat. Yo, I got some stories about Kev. You serious, fam? You serious, fam? Yo, 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 we're gonna get into Kev. Not today, got, though. Pause. Got no stories about me. I got stories about you that the people want to hear. Like, <laughs> like, 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 I, like, I remember, like, the best. All right, the I'm, I'm not gonna say the best, but the craziest. Not, the, not even the craziest. But I remember that time you fought a nigga. I'm not gonna say his name. <laughs> you fought a nigga. <laughs> After practice, I remember this shit. Y'all was getting into it, and you beat the brakes off that nigga. We gonna get into this shit. We gonna get into that shit. That shit was dumb funny. What happened? That's hilarious. That was ninth grade. Yeah. <laughs> no, you do rem- Yo, you remember that fight, though? That was ninth grade. Yeah, I remember. What so happened? Kick me. I grabbed was this a high me. school fight or a middle school fight? No, it was high school. Yeah, it was high school. <laughs> oh, so I know this person then. Yeah, you do. Probably. Yeah, 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 yeah. We ain't gonna say his name, but he fucked this I ain't gonna nigga do that. up. Uh-huh. He, fucked, he fucked this nigga up at at uh at uh at the park. What was it, Lennon Park? Who oh, you was? Oh, a baseball you was in, field. Um, you was on Lake beating niggas up. <laughs> nah, it wasn't even like that. Man. Shut and up, nigga. I was there. All up. For all these years, you call me Shug and you was in the park fucking niggas up. It wasn't how, you, like that. how you fuck your teammate up, nigga? We got to play with this nigga all season. Not a real fight. All right. All right. <laughs> we're not going to we're not gonna do real. that shit. Man, son, that wasn't son, real? Son tried to kick me and I started laughing in the middle of the fight. Like, who does that? Yeah, I know. That shit was funny. not a real fight. Yeah, but then you fucked him up. His face was fucked up for like, <laughs> for like <laughs> weeks, my man. <laughs> it looked like he fell down a flight of stairs face first and only face <laughs> like what are you talking about nigga <laughs> okay let's not talk about shit 13 years ago <laughs> yeah nah we moving gotta talk about that shit. that shit is mad funny <laughs> yeah, so, moving right along yeah you should have been suspended for that shit Chinese Jamaican girl name you gonna tell me who the fuck ever beat up alright alright all right, we, 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 gonna, we gonna talk about that <laughs> off air that shit was funny as shit but um so school suspended children is there another way um i don't know depending depending on what the fuck they did as a parent i don't want you to suspend my kid for nothing because that means i gotta take off work so you better keep that nigga in there somewhere i don't give a fuck in school <laughs> suspension don't send him home in, in school suspension do not especially not in our house High school well, can we to. say that <laughs> suspension don't work either because it'd be the same kids getting suspended over and over Listen, again? Suspension so work that shit you, don't work. Suspension work work if you getting your ass whipped for getting suspension. Suspension <laughs> might have worked for us. That now we gotta uh, keep up with the times and acknowledge what oh, almost got real, and that shit don't work. Almost got. I, I only got suspended one time, and uh, I was eighteen, so. Yeah, you was you was already out of there. Like yeah. I was fucking grown. I don't think um did I ever get suspended? I don't know. I got in school in school suspension a lot. Especially in middle school. Was, in museum, in and now what were the things you were doing that would cause them to give you in school suspension? Being was, reckless. Yeah, I was reckless. <laughs> I was fighting, I was throwing reckless. snowballs at people and shit. That reckless was crazy. In the hallway. <laughs> hell yeah, yo, yo! Middle school was wild as hell. Like I calmed down a lot in high school, but middle school and elementary school, I was really about like everything. But in high school, I but in high school, I was like, I'm a, I'm gonna calm down because I don't like this shit is real now. Like if I get suspended, like they're saying, oh, you won't graduate, and that shit scared me. Like I don't want to be left back in high school. Like fuck, I look like. <laughs> feel me? So I wasn't. I wasn't about none of that shit also i was never in school in high school like at all anyway i always cut class like i always cut class i really don't know how i graduated on time to be honest with you 
Damn. Yeah, I should be, yeah, I should be in school suspension for that. <laughs> <laughs> like for cutting and shit. I remember, yo, they used to call your house and everything if you missed class and like, mm-hmm. uh, yeah, I used to they hang, I used do. to bang it on them. But they still do? Mm-hmm. That's the, the dumbest shit ever. You can't keep kids in school if they don't want, like, if they don't want to go to class, you can't keep them in class. The fuck? I'd rather just have the kids who want to be there be there and have the kids who don't want to be there go home. Like, fuck that shit. That sounds, I mean, that sounds so like a good So why didn't you want to be there? She was boring as hell. I was tired. I want to play video games. I want to do hood rat shit with my friends. What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck you talking about? <laughs> or, when I, when I, I'll be in school. Like, like I'll be in school and then I notice like mad niggas from my block is not in school, and I'm like, yo, they at this nigga house. They probably have a no. They probably having a ball. I'm like, I'm getting the fuck out of here. <laughs> like, <laughs> so I'm gonna, like, I'm gonna miss shit at my niggas crib. No, damn man, I, look like, I know right now. Hell yeah, right, yo, they they play. <laughs> Hell yeah, yo, they playing Madden right now. Yo, oh my god, I gotta get that Madden shit. Like, oh, they playing Smash Brothers, they playing Street Fighter. Yo, they having a time. They sleeping and shit. They got bitches over. Like, nah. I'm getting the fuck out of this. I'm blowing this hot dog stand. Like, fuck out of here. I'll see y'all niggas tomorrow. Hey, yo. But I didn't. Pause, pause, pause. But I didn't. I didn't see them niggas tomorrow. <laughs> like, I probably, I remember there was this one time, I like, this one time in, uh, what was it? I was a senior, right? I probably only went to class three times that whole month. Like, I really don't know how I passed. But, you know, <laughs> hood rat shit. I really is what it is. I don't know what, what, what other they would have for suspension, right? I mean, I guess suspension only works if you got, like, parents or fucking guardians that'll hold your Accountable. Mm-hmm. Hold you accountable, right? Yeah. yeah, that's true. That's true. I mean, what, what like, what else are they gonna do? That's that's the only thing that they can do. They could keep threatening um, expulsion or whatever, but I don't think I've known anyone to ever get like expelled for anything. So you're just well, gonna hold. Know. What about mm-hmm. like different types of I don't know punishments? Like I don't know. Co- you know, community service, how they make you pick up trash or shit. <laughs> number, number one, my nigga. All right, look, all right. The floors with my the nigga. Janitors or something. My nigga. The I'm fuck just saying, I look it's like. gotta be something, anything other than just like. My nigga, you're not, you're not telling a 14, 13 year old, yo, you gotta pick up these bag of chips, these empty, <laughs> like, these empty wrappers, these cans and shit. They're not gonna do that shit. Like, I think that's against the law or something like that, too. You can't be telling these niggas to be doing that shit and holding their grades accountable for the shit. I'm pretty sure if, <laughs> like, if they could do the shit, like, they would do the shit. Like, yo, if you don't mop this floor, you're going to get an F in psychology or some shit like that. Like, I don't think they could do that. Or they would have. You yeah, feel that's me? crazy. It's not jail. Yeah, exactly. That's like That's like a jail thing, I'm sure. And to be honest with you, I kind of think it's against the rules to hold students against their will after school anyway. Like, how? Like, I'm going to just go home. I'm going to say no. Like, what are you going to do? I'm leaving. <laughs> it's not. They can stated. until It's until a certain time. Uh-huh. But detention, it does fall under their, um, their rights to, I guess, what, discipline. Uh, but it only until like what three thirty or something. Uh-huh. Like they can't make you stay till eight. Fam, I had a job from sixteen years old. A nigga was never staying in detention. Yeah, all right, detention. Yeah, I'll holler. See me when you see me. Yeah, right. Like you're not gonna force me to stay somewhere I don't want to be. That's number one. <laughs> like bye I'm, bye. Yeah, I'm a grown ass man. Damn it. Well, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> when you I was got a teenager. It, but you're thinking about the way we thought in high school. Mm-hmm. We were way more mature than these kids. Yeah, you. Yeah, you're right. You're right. But like, even even like the un even like the immature ones. Like, what are they gonna do? You feel me? Like, even the ones over here doing some dumb shit, like some really dumb, like you know, on the spectrum type shit. What are they gonna do with them? 
You feel me? Like, what? what's the alternative to suspension? That's what I'm saying. Like, we, we, that's, that's the big question. What do we do? Do you, I kind of, I'm going to be honest. To some uh, degree, I don't even think there should be anything written. I think that they need to take more time and get to know these kids and punish mm-hmm. each one accordingly. Because uh-huh. I think to some degree, we've just got like this block where it's like, if this happens, punish them this way. Uh-huh. But let's say you throw a rock through a window and I throw a rock through a window. Uh-huh. They shouldn't punish us exactly the same because the reason you threw the rock through the window and the reason I threw the rock through the window might be to- You get what I'm saying? Like I got an idea. I mm-hmm. have an idea. This is the technology age, right? I work in a school. You work in a school. All these mm-hmm. kids, all they're doing, all all the assignments are on the internet, right? So you punish the kids, right? You punish all the kids that, that are doing the fucked up shit, right? You punish them by taking away their internet privileges and they got to do old school textbook work like time how out, we do time back out. in the day. Time out. What's up? <laughs> they work online now? <laughs> yup. Niggas do they work all their textbooks. Everything is online. Every single class that's in my school has a, has a, school? I, has a I'm not going to say, but it's exactly upstate. not the school I work at. Well, I don't know. <laughs> well, well, you work in a poor fucking school. All right. We, so <laughs> I work at the school we graduated from, bruh. They and that was a poor they, ass school. Fuck that school. And that shit it's is a fact. not. Uh, why, <laughs> Wi-Fi accessible. That shit ain't Wi-Fi? <laughs> well, shit, that sucks for them. The school I work at, every single, everything is Wi-Fi. They all got, uh, they all say have. everything is in Wi-Fi. Mm-hmm. They can use the Wi-Fi, but they don't each have their own individual device. They don't have their log- logins and shit? Yeah, they do, but they would have to uh-huh. go to like the library or something. It's mm-hmm. not like they walk into their com- their classroom and every desk has a tablet, laptop, or computer set up waiting for them to. Them niggas use notebooks. Well, listen, uh, well that yeah, that's old timey because the kids in and my I, school- I don't mean notebook computers. Uh-huh. I mean paper, actual notebook, composition pen. notebooks, <laughs> need notebooks. I know what you're talking about. So I don't know. No, I honestly. wanted it to be clear for the people listening. I got you. But all right. So in your situation in like inner city schools, I don't know what the situation would be. I don't know. Maybe like old school, like ruler to the back of the hand type of shit. I don't know. Physical violence. <laughs> that'll help. But in situations <laughs> like schools like mine, all you got to do is just take away the internet and have them work like how y'all are working over there and they'll get back on straight I, I, I work in an affluent a very very affluent rich high school and uh elementary school and middle school so these kids are spoiled you just take away they their wi-fi you take away their their actual <laughs> their notebook and not not the me notebook actual you know notebooks that we provide MacBook. chromebooks macbooks all that stuff you take that away then you know they basically act like how they supposed to I don't know. I don't know what you're going to do in your situation. Different school, different situation, I guess. Maybe the opposite, how you take them away so they'll behave. Maybe uh, these kids need something so they have motivation to behave. Positive reinforcement, yes. Probably, probably. Mm. Well, I know that when I was bad in middle school, what they did was they used to... <laughs> Take they used to, well it was out of middle school I remember middle school I can't I couldn't go to the Candy Island trip I threw a snowball at someone and that was a bitch shit they 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 made me not go to the Candy Island trip because I threw a snowball at not even at someone I threw it at a at a at a at a school I mean no no I threw it at a school truck I threw it at a school truck and they did and they said I remember Miss Tolbert went on the um the next day it was me and me and uh what we'll, we'll call him JP right. Me and JP threw a snowball at a at a uh what's it called a school bus right, and then the next day Miss Tol it was Monday, to- Miss Tolbert got on the loudspeaker like the two kids who threw the blah 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 at the blah 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 you have to come to the office and we didn't hear that shit because who really listened to the old call announcements and then they then she called us 
she called us on the on the loudspeaker in our rooms. We had to go up there, and we and they said that we couldn't go to the Candy Island trip, which is trash. So yeah, what just keep candy? just keep taking away. You don't know what Candy Island? Yo, Kev, did you go on the Candy Island trip? What grade was that? I, don't, I didn't like, go on trips. I didn't go on trips until fucking eighth grade because I was always banned from going on trips. <laughs> I, I, See? I, I didn't. Fucking, I, I didn't go to the sixth grade in the year trip. I didn't go to fucking niggas went to Philadelphia in seventh grade. I couldn't go. I was in the oh Dallas yeah, was I went there. Niggas banned me from going. So. <laughs> no, it was lit. Yeah, that, yeah, that shit was lit. We got Philly cheesesteaks and all. we saw the Liberty Bell, nigga. You ever seen the Liberty Bell? Shit is no. lit when you're in seventh grade. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I remember that one. Yeah, I didn't go to the. I didn't go to the um. What's it called? A sixth grade trip. That one either. I forgot where it was. It wasn't Candy Island. Holiday Hills. No, that was, grade. that was eighth grade. Holiday Hills was eighth grade. I didn't go there either. I, I went, I went Why did that, I go to I Holiday Hills? I never went on. You should have been there because that shit was lit. Why the fuck did I go on Holiday Hills? I gotta ask my mom why I didn't go to Holiday Hills. Yo, fuck that all you niggas went to Holiday Hills. Son. I didn't go to Candy Island or Holiday Hills, fam. I didn't go to none of the places what that sounded lit as hell. Candy Island. You didn't go to museum? No. Damn, son. Where, where'd you go, Mark Twain? No, I went to Burroughs. Burroughs. Yeah, you sound like you went to Burroughs. That shit is crazy. But Candy Island, I don't know what Candy like Island you is. didn't go to Candy Island. <laughs> I did it. I'm trash. So don't ask me what Candy Island is if I never asked two niggas who never went on any trips what a trip is. Like, <laughs> like get out of here. Yo, Ms. Tobert stayed dead in me, yo. And then, like, I could have went to the Philly trip. Yo, the last minute, she was like, oh, she told my parents, oh, Kevin can go to Philly. But by the time they fucking told, she told them that, my parents was already mad. And they was like, nah, little nigga, you dead. It's in the house and read some books. <laughs> yo, that shit is mad trash. Yo, reading books when you're supposed to be out partying is trash. Like... <laughs> Can't do hood rat shit with your friends at Candy Island. <laughs> oh, <laughs> shit, it's so garbage. Yo, all my seventh grade friends is in another state. Yeah, I know, right? Oh, Whatever they're doing, they on the bus. They on the back of the bus getting yo. Hit. Yo, you know, yo, you know this is about to be a lit trip if they're going to a whole nother state. If you're going across two state lines, yo, you know shit's about to get popping. Because you can do fucked up shit over there and they can't do nothing. What are you going to do? Send you back early? Ah, fuck <laughs> out of here, nigga. <laughs> going to send me on the first thing smoking? Nah, I got to come back with y'all bitch niggas. <laughs> <Go on ahead. laughs> I'm doing whatever the fuck I want to. I'm going to punch the shit out of Ben Franklin. <laughs> <laughs> fuck that shit. Yo, but we've been on this for a little bit, though. So. <laughs> At the end of the day, we can't do nothing to, like but suspend children, and that is not going to help. So, mm, fuck these kids. So, um, <laughs> <laughs> so move, hey, listen, moving man, on. The children are our future. Yeah, they are, but they're, they're assholes. So <laughs> we got a we got a bleak future. <laughs> Basically, these motherfuckers can't spend. Two days. These motherfuckers can't spend a couple hours off of their YouTubes and their Twitches and their fucking like, yo, they hardly even go outside and play anymore and they don't want to. Shit is crazy. They rather watch people play video games than actually play them. Yo, what the fuck is like going on in the world? Yo, that I hate and shit. Like, I tell my son, like, straight up, I'm not allowed to watch a video. Yeah, that shit don't make no goddamn sense to me. Mind you, I'm a Twitch streamer, so y'all motherfuckers better come watch me play and go to my YouTube channel in which you can watch me play video. Well, I'm gonna li- I'm a links in the bot, <laughs> links in the description. But uh, <laughs> in other words, <laughs> yeah, that 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 shameless plug, shameless plug time. Um, <laughs> next, next on the docket, Gucci released a sweater, right? And it was on their website, which is basically you know you lift the what's it called? You lift the uh the the turtleneck With up. The turtleneck. And it's blackface. You know, you become white with blackface on, right? With the big red lips and everything like that. So, and Prada and Montclair has, you know, race, racist stuff on their uh, on their website too. So, um, do we boycott? Like, what do we do? Do we do we burn all of our Gucci stuff? Like, what's going on? Well, I'm gonna keep it a hundred. I'm more of a Versace than a Gucci type of person. I don't really fancy? have no Gucci. Ooh, so, word. I don't have to stop buying some shit I wasn't buying to begin with. So, Queen, you're telling me that you will denounce 
uh, what was it Versace if Donatella comes out and says fuck all black women yeah if anybody comes out and says that I mean let's be for real so first of all we can't boycott all things because we don't have anything and I, I want to bring that up everyone needs to watch Killer Mike special this nigga could barely live black for what was it I think three days to live only black yo one night he straight didn't eat at all cause he hold couldn't on, wait, wait, find wait. no place on, wait. where wait wait hold on so what did Killer Mike do because you're starting from like the middle. So you got to start from the beginning. What did he do? He like tried to conduct an experiment where he only ate from black businesses. Or no, only- to live do? black, like literally do everything from black, black owned businesses. businesses. Yes. Okay. And he couldn't. Yo, nigga was hungry, sleep on a park bench. <laughs> what, what's the, what's his uh special called? It's on Netflix, right? Yes, but before special, his you know? special, and I'm glad that he pointed it out. Um, I this I luckily know this information, but most of us don't. So, like in the I believe it's Chinese community, the dollar circulates for I believe thirty something days. Mm-hmm. The Dollars circulates in the black community for six hours. Oh yeah, that. Oh wow. So by so by you mean by circulate you mean it stays. We're giving our black dollars. That's how long our money stays with us. With us in our bank account. Yeah, for six hours. Whereas in the Chinese community, their money stays with them for over 30 days. Over 30 it takes days. a month for a dollar to leave the Chinese community. It takes six hours for the dollar to leave the black community. Because we don't own anything. All right. All right, I get it. So basically what you're saying is, it's not, it's not only saving, because kind of like what you're saying is, is we don't have anything. Right, so we can't give our black dollar to black businesses. Then the black yeah, because there aren't gives any. It to another black business. Then that black business gives it to another black business. I don't agree with that. Shit. Which is like the Chinese, which like in the Chinese community, they'll buy clothes from a from Chinese, Chinese store. People. They mm-hmm. buy food from Chinese people. Okay, the, everything their landlord is probably Chinese. Chinese. So oh, the it, only it, money is like their con ed bill. I don't, I don't, I don't agree with that. Uh, there's not, there aren't any black business. But you're trying okay, to explain, Kevin, I think what, what we're saying, saying is, is to a degree where it actually makes, uh, it allows us to keep our money. Damn. You know what their black businesses are? Getting your fucking hair cut. And mm. I, mean, I go to true. a Dominican. I go to and, Dominican niggas. See, so Tony don't even <laughs> keep his money in the community. He's staying the Dominican. Dominican is black. He's fucking black oh, and will oh, die go. before Dominican he says black. he is. My father's Dominican too. Oh, see? Ah, Kevin, Kevin neither. I tell because the black people don't be using razors, but that's besides the point. That's a fact. Nah, that's a fact. He's absolutely that's right. That's besides the point. There's plenty you gotta of black ask people. for the razor. People just, I don't know. They just fucking, they, they don't support. Uh, that's that's pretty true. But also, you know, what, black banks, too? We need black banks, right? We have well, some. There's okay, one in Harlem. Where do you keep your money? I think we had this conversation already. We did. Last week, we started talking about the black bank. Mm-hmm. See, everything's coming full circle. I need you to put all your money in a black bank, Rain. You have to. I don't have no money, but when I get some, I got you. <laughs> Just give it to me. I'll save it for you. Yeah, for real. No, thank you. The shoebox away underneath the mattress. See what I mean? See what I mean? We don't support black businesses. No, I Give don't support your- giving you my money. That's not a black business. Give That's a con. I'll give you the opportunity <laughs> to save your money. Yo, Ren, you ain't gonna hold them up on that offer? Nah. Kevin's a con <laughs> artist. I'm good. I'm a con Kevin's artist. Kevin's a con artist. What? Whoa, whoa. Somebody what else. Where's this coming from? Kev's a con artist. 
Him thinking Soldier Boy's idea was good is all the kind of artistry I need. Oh, shit. What is Damn. this malarkey? <laughs> <laughs> what is this malarkey? I can't believe that. Yo, wow. you crazy for I that, Rain. I that thought y'all was baby. friends. What happened? We are friends. That's why I know what he is. Damn, and what is he? Con artist, though? He, you scamming. You ain't taking my money. <laughs> Yo, that is absolutely crazy. And it's so, Black um, History Month, people. And it is Black History Month, and she just called her <laughs> her friend, right? Her brother. Her brother. <laughs> A con artist. That's crazy. And a scammer. This is malarkey, actually. I think this is the definition of malarkey. <laughs> we need to pub- we need to publicly shame Queen Irene Bean. Just, just, this. just because you in the house serving lemonade and I'm on the porch don't mean we ain't both slaves. Mm. Think about it. So where am I? In the field? God damn. Uh, you somewhere in between like the porch in the area of the house. <laughs> you opened in the I'm door. In the, nigga, I'm in, the, I'm in the doorway. I'm in the doorway. <laughs> Y'all motherfuckers. <laughs> Yo, these assholes got me in the fucking doorway. Hey, at least you ain't in the field. You 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 a little hot and a little cool. <laughs> <laughs> so I got the AC a little bit too, but I wait, well, did it have AC, AC back then? Your back, sun on your face. <laughs> <laughs> I'm over here looking like a black and white cookie, man. Fuck you, <laughs> I swear, y'all ain't shit. <laughs> Sorry, so the verdict is in, right, for the Gucci sweaters, at least for us. We're not fucking with black, we're not fucking with uh, Gucci or Prada or, Ma- wait, what's going on with Montclair and Prada? Same type of shit? Yeah, blackface. You know, the blackface or the bubble jacket. That was real? Yeah. Yo, I need to see this shit, yo. That shit is crazy. Are they trying to bring it back? Like, what's going on with this shit? Who knows, but I, I feel like this is one of them things that's like, um... Remember what happened with H&R? Uh, H&R. What, H&R. I, I, want, I want my taxes. That's what <laughs> HR block. It's tax with, season. With H&M, uh, like, last year, people were outraged for, like, a week, and then it was like... Oh, with, was, was, was that it. the one with the shackle bracelet? Nah, that was the coolest monkey in the jungle or some shit like that. Yeah. Oh, like and see, I was not actually offended by the coolest monkey in the jungle shirt because one, a lot of people call their kids their little monkeys. And that's racist. Like, it was only racist because it was a little nigga boy in the shirt. You just if it would have been a little, little nigga boy. boy if oh, hold on. If they would have put a white kid in that shirt that said coolest monkey in the jungle, nobody would have said shit. I'm going to keep it 100. I uh, would buy my son the shirt that said coolest monkey in the jungle. That shirt one, actually didn't bother me. Number one, I just want to point out how you said, how you called a little black kid a little nigga boy and you did not call the little white kid a little cracker boy that's number one no, i said number that because that's what we're all calling because he's like because you're calling him the monkey in the jungle that's why i called him the little nigga boy because everyone was looking at it like that because he was the monkey in the jungle shirt number two you are not buying your son a coolest monkey in the jungle shirt because we will flame the shit out of you and we will not let that happen not doing that. <laughs> I be buying my son them little corny phrase shirts <laughs> in little children's place and shit. Yo, yo you're the fucking yo, funniest. But but this was this is the point I'm trying to make. People was outraged for all but a week, mm-hmm. and then it was like nobody even gave a fuck anymore. I feel like this is gonna be one of those situations. That's of true. course, because something new is gonna happen for people to pretend to care about. Mm-hmm. But all right, so. We can agree that these three companies, right, Gucci, Prada, and Montclair, are not from America, right? Is is that whole minstrel show blackface shit global, or is it just in America? Like, I, I'm they not exactly sure. They know what sure. they're doing. If oh, that's well, the question, like, is this? I'm, a I'm not exactly sure. I'm not exactly it? sure if they, they. I'm not exactly sure if they, they do. I'm just playing white devil's advocate. Right I'm now. not ignorant to it. I mean, maybe it doesn't mean the same in 
where in Italy. It means I don't the know. same shit everywhere on this planet. Maybe. I don't know. I'm just playing white devil's advocate here, you know, shooting him some bail a little bit. I'm not, listen, do I have any Gucci or, I'm seeing if I got any Gucci, if I have any of those type of colognes. I'm a cologne connoisseur myself, yeah. so I don't, <laughs> I don't think I got any of them shit, so I'm good. I don't have to throw out, I don't have to toss any of my bottles. I'm going to throw this one out there for you since you're a cologne connoisseur. All have right. you ever had of the Tom Ford Noir? Oh, yes, definitely. That shit smells like old mm. man's, like, nah. Those, those no, it trash. doesn't. It smells Tom good. Ford. Tom Ford, he only has a couple of good colognes. Most of his colognes smell like white old rich men. And not like, I, all right, that's, mm, that's, that's there. That's why I like it. See, mm. there you go. All right, moving along. Um, <laughs> we don't want to, we don't want to talk about how bad you want to be a sugar baby. All right. <laughs> We'll save we'll save that for another uh, podcast. This one's running a little. This one's running a little uh, late right now, you know. But you are sugar baby. We'll, we'll talk about that another time. Sugar baby. I wish. First of all, I'm gonna write a book on all the reasons why I'm not a sugar baby because my life would be so much different. And I'm gonna write a book on how fast you would sell out if you can be a sugar baby. Like, you would not talk to anybody anymore if you got a white old nigga to pay a little bit for some drawers. Right, what? Get the fuck out of I here. would be the next bitch on E. Bump <laughs> out Anna Nicole, next stop, Arena D. Okay? So you're so you telling me that if you find a sugar daddy, you ain't gonna do this podcast no more? Yo, episode one, real estate <laughs> shopping. You're going to do your own fucking vlog. Get the fuck out I'm of here. I'm going to be pushing that nigga. I'm going to be like, all the homes need to be wheelchair accessible. Yo, you know you got to suck on his tongue, though. Like, it's some real nasty um, shit. First suck of on. all, uh-huh. no. You got to some, what you mean, no? What do you think that <laughs> had to do for that, for that empire? Like, come on, son. She had to do some yeah. real nasty nigga shit. She had to, she probably had to, she had, she probably had to wear his dentures like, like they were hers. Like, that shit is nasty. I'm pretty sure I could do some swap out shit. Like, I'll just pay a chick to come around and do all that stuff. No, we're not talking about those old, decrepit, like, Mr. Burns type of old niggas. Like, we're talking about some old nigga that actually knows how to get down and wants to get down. But he's still nasty. Oh, then he's not the right one. That ain't a sh- <laughs> Yo, you understand beggars can't be choosers, right? Sugar beggars can't be sugar choosers. <laughs> right? So fuck, so fuck out of here with that shit, please. Well, first of all, I need to, you know, I'm diabetic, so I try to stay away from the sugar <laughs> altogether. <laughs> you see, we're going to talk about this one time. Like, we're not going to talk about it now, but we're going to talk about how sugar babies don't want to give the sugar when it's sugar time. All right? Like, I've y'all... never been a sugar baby, so I do not know. I'm pretty sure. Listen, I know a couple of sugar babies, and they don't want to give the sugar when it's sugar time. They think it's all glitz and glamour and getting money. Nah, y'all got to do some nasty nigga shit to uh-huh. a nasty old nigga. Like, well, we'll talk about that at another time. That's a, that's a that's a different conversation. Moving along, Alexandria Ocasio. What the fuck is her name? Someone tell me what oh, her name is. Alexandria Cortez. Cortez? All right, so what's going on with her? She's the new... Uh, se- she's on the Senate. I think Senate. she's a congresswoman. There you go. She's a congresswoman. And she's from the Bronx. She's around 27. She's nice. She's young. She's attractive to some people. I don't I, I don't know what that has to do with anything, but she's <laughs> bre- breathing. she's breathing new life into the whole political stage. And there's inklings there's whispers of her trying to make a 2020 presidential run i don't think that she should do that because i think she you know she's only 27 and i don't think I, she would do that well, I uh, and i don't think she legally can because don't you have to be like 40 to run for president i think i'll be at least 35 but people don't know that right people are oh, always well, trying to still, put, if she's 27 she can't yeah. 
<laughs> even, yeah, even still, even still, I think that's and because she seems you- extremely smart. So I don't think she would. I think she's smart enough to know it's not time yet. Oh, it's definitely not time. I think she has to build. Well, the funny thing is, I'm gonna say this, and no, I right, no one correct me, right? Because I know what y'all gonna say. I think that she needs to build a little bit more political um accoutrement right she got to build her put her political resume a little bit more i know what you're going to say well donald trump donald trump donald trump well yeah Don, she's not i donald wouldn't trump. say that because donald oh, i that. think he shouldn't have ran for president because he doesn't have any knowledge of what the fuck he's doing and look what he's and look what he's doing to america it's absolutely horrible i don't want another donald trump i don't want another person in the White House that has absolutely no idea what they're doing when it comes to politics. Like, he didn't do any political shit one day in his life. Now, right? I wouldn't mind somebody who maybe has not necessarily had any um, jobs in politics, as long uh-huh. as they're extremely smart and is someone who makes sure that, like, if you're an extremely intelligent person and everybody that you would appoint to the certain positions has extreme knowledge in that, then I don't think you're the wrong person. You know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. He's the wrong person because not only does he not have the experience, he's not smart, and then he (laughs) brings in more not smart people. (sighs) Yeah, it's it's a horrible position that we're in. (laughs) But (laughs) is Alexandria Ocosia Cortez... Right. Is she in the news now or why, why is she on the docket right now? So I keep seeing on Facebook these okay. um, this video of her asking all the. So pretty much what she did was like, you know, like when you play the ask questions to trip these motherfuckers up game. Yes. Yes. I love that game. Yeah, she played it and she played it very well. Really? So I just did. Um, I. There were four main questions. I just like kind of did the shortest version of them as I could. Well, thank you for that. So one of the questions was, can you 100 percent legally use corporate corporate political action money and lobbyist money for a campaign? No. She was told yes. No. The answer is yes. It is not illegal. The what? next question was, if I wanted to cover up skeletons in my closet with uh-huh. payoffs, is that legal? The yes. answer was yes. The payoff money is considered free speech. The next question was, I swear to God, this you got to look it up. So then, but this is just, she's asking these questions just to prove how broken our system is. So the next one was, once elected, is there a limit to the legislations that can be written, amended, et cetera, in relation to in um, interest of the people paying? So remember, the first question was, can I take money from lobbyists for my campaign? And they said yes. So now she's asking the people who have paid me you know, have pretty much paid to get me here. Now that I'm here, can I make laws that favor them? Is there, um, is there any limit to me doing this? Like, is there anyone to stop me? The answer was no. And then, yeah, there's no one to stop that from happening. Yo, this is the jig. This is the jig. <laughs> That's exactly how motherfuckers be getting in office by lobbyists and shit like that, getting paid millions of dollars so they could get in office and make laws for them. And this shit is legal. That's just legal. That's just legal. Yes. Yep. Yes. So then, wait, wait, wait. It gets better. The so jig. the last question was: Does anything prohibit this person from owning stocks in a company and then creating laws that influence in them the making company. a profit off of this? No. That's crazy. 
So this is basically what like, this is what Trump is doing. He pretty much <laughs> it, it asked the, it explained every single thing that Donald Trump has and is doing, <laughs> and, and legal. they answered her. And there you go. Yo, this this country's broken, man. Like this whole law shit, the legislation is broken. They just need a whole overhaul. Yo, we need to go to Canada, bro. Like. <laughs> it's a fact. I don't know what's going on in Canada. If it's better in Canada, but I don't know. Shit's going crazy over here, and Canadians are nicer. And apparently, they I'm gonna keep it so, honey. If Canada saw a mad, if Canada saw an American caravan, there would be a war <laughs> by nigga, and it would be between <laughs> them and us. Yeah, that's a fact. That is a hundred percent fact. They don't want us, all us fucking dirty Americans over there fucking up their exactly. right so like they they not with the shits at all. Yo, Kev, what you feel about all of this, man? This 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 information is baffling me. Well, America been fucked up for a long time, and um, I don't expect it to change anytime soon. So that's my thoughts on that. That's just trash. So you don't think the twenty twenty election is gonna change the like gonna change anything? You don't think if we get Trump out of office? Not immediately. It's a lot more that needs to be changed than getting Trump dumbass out of here. Yeah, that's true. Well, hopefully we All get right, him out. Question. Go ahead. Would y'all go live on Killer Mike's sovereign nation? Number one, where's his nation is supposed to be? I don't fucking know. I forgot. It's in the documentary. Number one, what's a so- <laughs> number two, what's a sovereign nation? What the fuck? You gotta explain this shit to me. So a sovereign nation to, I guess the best that I can explain it would be like somehow, okay, do you watch Family Guy? No, that show's trash. Oh my God. I was going to say the Pretoria episode. So pretty much it's like, there was some guy that really actually did this shit. Uh It's like where you pretty much are in a country but you're your own country and you operate by your under, own under your own rules. Under your own, oh, yeah, but what you're still, like um, the Vatican. Vatican City is a, it's, it's a sovereign nation. That's its really? own whatever. What but the what they was? still like they're they belong to themselves or whatever, okay. even though they're in that place. I don't know if yeah. it makes no, um, no, it, it makes no, it makes perfect sense. I understand what you're talking about. <laughs> it's like it's like they it's got their own, own laws and shit. All right, they have their own laws, all that mm-hmm. stuff. How do you become a sovereign nation, and how do you get your own land to, to be able well, to allocate see, that's for this the shit? The land is how you always get land. You buy it, mm, or you me. conquer it. And you, all right. Well, I don't think Killer Mike is conquering anything, but these areas. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But, no, um, no, no. But I'm just saying those those are the options. Those are the options. All right, but I'm I'm thinking that even if you do buy it, right, like it's still it's still it might belong to you, but you still have to abide by some sort of rules, right? So I don't think that you'll be able to buy land or buy mad acres of land in New York or Connecticut or whatever and just declare that land a sovereign nation. I don't think that's just gonna fly so easy. Maybe it maybe no, it I don't, no, I don't think you just declare it that. There is like a process a process. And and then again you gotta remember you can just declare it that, but that doesn't mean it will be acknowledged. Right, that's true, because America can just run up in your sovereign land and conquer that shit. So, like, I don't understand what the whole, like, what the whole point of that, of Killer Mike's idea is. You know how America no, likes to run just, up you know, shit. just, it's, it's, it's just like, you gotta Throwing see the documentary there. to understand it. All right, yeah, I'm definitely gonna watch the documentary. But, um, yeah, closing that topic up. One last, we have one last topic on this situation. Y'all know how on this podcast, our last topic is usually a relationship topic or it's a social topic. And yet again, we do have one more for you guys. So, motherfuckers be talking a lot of shit, right? And they say a lot of shit. Usually, 
their walk, their talks don't match with their walks, right? Mm. So how do we feel about people don't say, don't do what they say? Like they talk a whole lot of good shit. Like this even goes back to the whole, to the whole um out. What's his name? The whole Offset and Chris Brown situation. He talked a lot of shit. But when Chris Brown walked that walk, it wasn't about no walk, like offset. <laughs> it was suddenly in a wheelchair. He couldn't walk that walk, right? So what's going on with that? How we feel about people who could talk to talk, but don't walk that walk. That shit's trash to me, but I'll let put you up, go. Put up or shut up. You that's mean, a fact. If you're not going to show no action, don't speak about it. I mean, that's, that's how I feel fact. about it. And that's any that's with anything. That's in a relationship too. We talk about, you know, how your girl or your man's talk about, oh, we're gonna do this and it's gonna be amazing. And then, you know, when the situation comes to comes to fruition, it's Those not are the like how that they say. never. One thing I've learned, I will uh-huh. say this. Like the people that be talking about all the shit they wanna do with you are the uh-huh. people that don't ever do shit with you. Because the people that want to do shit with you ain't hitting you up to tell you they want to do something with you. They hitting you up like, we out. Come outside. Mm. 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 All right, so what if you have a quarter, right? If you have a dude that, that's talking all that talk, but you won't let him walk the walk because you're like, mm-hmm. eh, I don't know about this. Like like you have a dude that's, I won't even say all up in your DMs because that's an easy you know, that's a, that's, a, that's an easy example. What if you met a guy at Starbucks or something like that, right? And y'all was vibing a little bit. You gave him you gave him your number because you was feeling his energy a little bit. But then, you know, that was, was when... He wearing the, Tom Ford smelling... <laughs> oh, he was definitely wearing Tom Ford. Did his, wheel, did his wheelchair have rims? <laughs> oh, yeah. It, it was all of that. It was everything that a sugar baby <laughs> like you could have asked for. It was amazing <laughs> for you, right? But, th- but that was... You gave him your number off of off of your Wednesday evening vibe, right? It's mm-hmm. it's it's Wednesday night or it's Tuesday morning or it's Thursday morning, excuse me. And you're not in the same headspace. He's hitting mm-hmm. you up saying how he wants to take you out, he wants to wind and dine you. He's trying to walk that he's trying to walk that walk. He's talking that talk, but you're not letting him. So how do we feel about people who don't let who don't let motherfuckers walk the walk? <laughs> Um, I think we need to walk away. That's it. No, you're not just not. You're not gonna give Mister Mister Wheelchair Man Tom Ford Noir wearing suave motherfucker who's gonna be your best sugar daddy ever. You're not gonna give him a chance. <laughs> What's going on with that? Well, so I don't now know. you're not I walking mean, your walk. I think it depends. Um, you know, because all people get a different amount of interest so you know like if you're really really interested then Uh maybe find out why like why am i always trying to take you out and you ain't never let me take you out girl and then maybe she'll be like oh my god i have two kids and i'm working and i'm trying to go to school and Uh i do kind of like you but you a distraction and i'm trying to get my shit right or she could be like Nigga, your Jordans is a year old, and then you know she's a bird, and you don't want to talk to her. Yo, Rena, walk, yo, walk, walk your walk. I need you to walk your walk. That's what it. Is. Everybody, I need you. I need everyone to walk their walk because there's been situations like that. Not with me, all right. Not with me, but <laughs> it, like a lot of my friends, right? They, you know, they meet a girl, they meet, they meet a guy, and they talk and they talk and everything like that. But then. The energy don't match the next day. The energy don't match. And I don't know if it's the conversation or if it's, like, what's going on with the shit, but the energies don't match. The walking doesn't match with the talking. Like, can everyone just walk their walk? You, you feel me? Like, you feel where I'm coming from with this? Yeah, I feel you. Well, see, me personally, uh-huh. I could sometimes be like that, because I'm very like, it takes me like a really long time to kind of like somebody and uh-huh. not a really long time to stop liking people. You get annoyed and the fast. Smallest, the smallest, weirdest things will turn me off. So it's like you could do something and I'll be uh-huh. like, Yo, I can't. 
like it's rap. I'm never talking to him again. The smallest little thing. So like sometimes it be me fighting with myself, like telling myself like, oh, he's nice, bitch. Don't run away just because he chews crazy. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yo, that's funny because I was, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna lie. That is the exact example I was about to bring up. Like, yo, what if he's chewing like, like I cow? am pet peeve central. Like people. <laughs> I don't like people. So many things about people bother me. So to find somebody I like and want to be around, like uh-huh. that shit don't be easy. So you won't let yourself walk your walk sometimes. Well, I always walk my walk, you but walk maybe sometimes walk. I do trip up other people's walks. Mm. I love this analogy that we just came up with. I'm a patent this shit. Walk, <laughs> walking your walk. Yo, how you feel about all this shit, Kev? What do you feel about people who don't walk their walk? I feel like if you ain't gonna be about it, don't talk about it. Mm, that's true. Basically, that's true. I mean, I don't know. People like hyping themselves up. I mean, sometimes it's good to talk your shit a little bit, but that's a fact. That's a fact. I mean, it's easy. It's it's easy to talk your shit. It's easy to talk your talk and everything like that. It is not easy. I want to say it's not easy to walk your talk or to walk your walk. But um, I, I feel like it's like, easy. like it's easy. Oh, I feel like you shouldn't be talking about some shit that you ain't gonna do. Yeah, you're right. You shouldn't be talking about some shit that you ain't gonna walk. That's if a I fact. Talk, if I talk about something, I'm gonna do it. What? What happened? I said, if I talk about something, I'm going to do it. Oh, that's a fact. Like, if that's I tell you, yo, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that, and I'm going to do this. And don't be surprised when I do it. All right, so do we give chance, Do we give chances to these people that, all right, what if it's one time and they don't walk their talk, right? Do we give another chance to this person to walk their talk or to walk their walk, or is it it's, it's over? They got to walk away. You got to walk away now. That yeah, depends mm-hmm. on the situation. All right, so what if someone stands you up? It's over. You already been, You already went to the venue, right? You already went to the venue at the bar. You chilling. We said, all right, we're going to meet at 9 o'clock at this bar in the Bronx, right? You get all nice. You get all dressed up. You wear your Tom Ford Noir, right? You smelling like a million bucks, right? You get Rims there. on your chair shining. Rims on your chair. What? Yo, you spinning, literally, right? You get there, <laughs> you get there, right? Shorty ghosted you. You text her, where, where you at? I'm here. You hit her up. She don't pick up her phone. What's going on? You leave, right? Next day, she hits you up with the, oh, I didn't think he was really going to come. Oh, no, nah, we're not playing those games. We are no, not no playing games. those games. We are not it's playing over. those type of, I didn't think you were, if she had an excuse like, yo, uh, my kid or some shit, like. We ain't playing those. Oh, I ain't think you was really gonna come. Like I fucking told you, the fuck you here at the time. Like fuck wrong with you. So what if she said, "All right, I'm willing to come. I'm, I'm willing to come tonight. I want to meet up with you tonight." Well, you could have came yesterday. Could have came so, yesterday. <laughs> off is off the table, sweetie. <laughs> Yo, that's a fact. That's definitely a fact. What about you? Rick? Nah, you gotta meet up with her, let her pay, and then just get. Now nah, you gotta meet up with her, eat uh-huh. mad expensive shit, tell this bitch you go to the bathroom, and then dip out the back door. Dip, yo, there was a nigga that actually used to do, do that. Like that. I can't do nothing like that. Oh, that's a waste of time, right, Kev? Like, like if, I, if I'm going out with somebody, you know, paying. It is, yeah, and it's your first <laughs> date, and then they stand you up. But it's not even that. It's like without a reason. Oh, I ain't thinking you come. Like my nigga set up plans. Like what the fuck is you talking about? <laughs> nah, you probably, you, get, you probably won't get. You probably won't. If that's you your reason. Yeah, I feel you on that shit because that 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 shit is dumb as fuck. I'll tell you about. I'll tell you about a couple stories that I got that's similar to situations <laughs> like that. But you already know. I mean, it's getting late. It's almost 12 o'clock on the East Coast. And I appreciate every one of the listeners that has stayed up to listen to us. Well, y'all didn't stay up to do shit. Y'all probably driving. Y'all probably at y'all cubicles. Y'all probably at y'all house cleaning and shit. Got this on your phone. 
listening to us over whatever DSP y'all are listening to, and I appreciate every mm-hmm. single one of y'all. You know, DSP, I forgot what that meant. Was a digital service provider, digital streaming yep. provider. Boom. Yep. Nice with it. Nice with it. So, you know, this is the end of the podcast. Y'all got to be back here next week. Same time, same place, wherever the hell y'all going. No, nah, not same oh, time. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Before, What's before, and Rose, what's before, poppin'? Before, before we sign off, you know what I'm saying? Salute to everybody who newly subscribed. You know what I'm saying? We more than, damn, we more than quadrupled our subscribers since we started this shit less, like, a month ago. So, shout out oh, to yeah. you. Yeah, shout out to all the subscribers and everything like that. And shout out to people who keep on sharing our podcast with their friends, who's telling everybody to, you know, to, to look us up, telling everybody else to share us, subscribe to us. You know, it's what we're over 100 right now. And that's definitely humbling with everything. So thanks to y'all. Facts. Uh, shout out to all my people fucking spamming the link too that be watching my shit. So salute to y'all. And follow my man Tone Gaming channel. We got a new gaming channel. Follow my main channel. Oh yeah, that's a fact. That's a fact. You know, new gaming channel. Since I didn't want to put all the, ga- I don't want to clutter this particular channel. New gaming channel. You can hit y- y- y'all can find me at uh, bit dot lee slash tones gaming. Or if you just lazy as hell, you want to put it, you want to put it in on the YouTube link. That's tyrant tones gaming. Just follow that shit. You gonna see me. It's a green emblem with a with a with a controller in the middle. Um, Queen, you want you want to plug anything? You know, or not, I guess. If you're listening, Queen, she probably went to sleep. Yeah, it's about sleepy time. It's about sleepy time for all of us. <laughs> Yo, we out of here. Probably snoring on the other side. We out of here, y'all. We're going to catch y'all next week. Salute, y'all. Yeah, salute. Oh, yeah. Free Max B. We forgot that shit. Oh. <laughs> How nah, you we forget never that forget. Shit? We never forget, man. Free Max B. Never, never forget Max Free B, 21, man. Free, 21. free Max B. Free 21. Yo, free Takashi? Free 6 9 I mean, if he ain't snitching. If he ain't snitching, free him. If if not, y'all can put that nigga under the jail. Y'all know how that shit goes, yo. Okay. We holler. And get all Kelly, too. Take that nigga. Take that nigga away, yo. <laughs> what? Salute.